because he had bills that people didn't pay. He wasn't rich, was, believe me. <laughs> by no means. But they figured he was when he know, died, the richest black man. But he was a like rich black man in Occoquan. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. he was, well, uh, Uncle Joe yes, was probably yeah. a little bit better off. He, at least he was a kid. Now, he was, the, he was a captain at the workhouse. Uh, he taught bricklaying there. Now, what's the workhouse? That was the jail, Occoquan and Lawton Reformatory area. He was the one that taught uh, bricklaying there to the prisoners. Okay. So he was a little more influential. <laughs> you see that big wall that they have? That's the wall that he taught them how to build. Interesting. He, that's had, still he there. had that brick, the brick house that's down in Occoquan mm -hmm. on uh, Commerce Street. He built his own house there, right there. But he was a little more well off than Oval was. <laughs> now, Oval, where was his where was his ice cream shop? Was it downtown Occoquan? Right at that corner. Mm -hmm. If you go to Occoquan, right at that little corner at uh, Poplar Alley yeah. in Washington Street, right across from the church. You see, it's still there because I just called about the taxes about it yesterday to reach. <laughs> but now it's um, it's, it's not. a pan shop. It was a sewing shop, but the the lady left. So mm -hmm. it's, it's empty now? It's empty right now. You know what somebody want to rent it? <laughs> so. But anyway, anyway, that's a, that's a, that's a, he was the one, yeah, that did, like she said, he did, that was the part, he did go to Manassas, but that was what they told him, the reason that the buses, mm -hmm. how true that was, I don't know, but they would tell you things, because nobody else went up there, see, so he went up at a sea, why his children weren't going to be picked up there, you see. So he was very proactive in trying to get those changes made. Yeah, yeah. So talk a little bit about the the church, Ebenezer. What was that like during segregation? Was the church instrumental in getting, you talked about the school. Um, were there other things that the church was instrumental in doing as far as segregation? Annie B. Rose, Annie Bailey Rose. She lived in Alexandria, but she was like, Congressman Herb Harris, a activist. <laughs> when he said, "When Annie Rose speaks, everybody listens," <laughs> and that's what they did. She was an activist. She went around every Sunday. She would tell us about voting, why we needed to vote, and who were the foreigners. <laughs> and we were. We were the foreigners. We were the foreigners. We always thought the Japanese and the Spanish and everything, we were the foreigners because we had no rights, we had nothing. And she drilled it in your head. You had to vote to make a choice to decide who was going to do what for you. And that was every Sunday. And my children would say, oh Lord, we're going back to Africa. <laughs> going back to <laughs> Africa. Yeah. But yes. She did, and yes, if you did. if you needed to vote and you didn't have a way, she would take you to the polls. Yes, she did that yes, in, she in did. Alexandria as well. Yes, and they got a place named after them. Every Sunday, a, a certain time was set aside for Miss Annie to, to speak on speak on segregation, the good and the bad of it. That was it. How much were poll taxes back then? Dollar and a half. And so they you called it state capitation tax. And so you paid that. You paid Did they give you a literacy test or just the poll tax? No, they just no. They didn't give a literacy test. You just had to pay the poll tax, as far as I know, as far as my husband was concerned. Okay. And were there any? Did they? Were they intimidating when you would go to the polling areas? Did they make you feel uncomfortable or? No, not that I, not that I, not that I remember. Like I said, it. it Sometimes who you are makes a big difference. I can't say that nobody, anybody else went in there had that problem. But I don't remember my husband and I having that problem. And you just paid it, you know, that was, that was expected of you to pay it. Yeah. Well, I know, <coughs> um, Mother Harris, you talked about going to the March on Washington. So talk a little bit about, you were working in D.C. and then going to that march that day. Well, I can remember walking because we, well, I guess we could have. I, mean, I did a lot of walking in those days over from where I was working. I worked at General County Office there at Fifth Street. So we just, it was, we got off and we just walked over there to it. And I think I just, I remember just telling you that we stood down there and it was just so many people. 
and the people were, it was so many of us, let's put it that way, it was so many of us out there, as well as with a lot of white people. And it was just the, the spirit was just so high, because here was Martin Luther King was going to be, was there with us, and you could hear that voice. As I, I say many times, I hear the records and I hear, but it was nothing like that. Just to hear, and I can, I, I'm really meant to bring the record, and I forgot about it. Just to, just to hear that voice. Of, of, it was like somebody was opening up a new life for us. That's how it felt. And um, I remember listening to all of it and, and going back to work, more or less, and, and getting on the bus and going home. But I can remember that, like it was, and when I, I went to the, um, the mall, just when I walked around and just saw the words, because the words meant so much to me that they have on each one of those stones of the of quotations that oh, he made. Yes, at his monument. At, 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 yes. at the monument down there they have for him. And just yes, and think of that. Oh. It's, it's, like I said, I can't even express how, how I even feel today. How it, it was like it's. I want to say free at last. Yeah, yeah. Is that the way you felt after that's the, the way, civil rights acts were passed? The way, that's the way I felt. Mm -hmm. like, oh, we. Oh, we. So we got a.